Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location. It's a very, very cool spot, a really, really beautiful community uh, that we've got over here. I mean, just look at these really nice houses. They've got huge, huge front lawns. My goodness, it must take forever to cut all of that grass. See, that's the bad part about having such a... Such a big lawn, you gotta take care of it. I mean, maybe you find that enjoyable, but honestly, that is really, really not my style. I would much rather live in an apartment or maybe uh, in the future a condo uh, rather than um, actually um, owning a, a house with such a big property that I have to take care of. I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like my style. Uh, but then again, I totally understand the people that it is because, I mean, seriously, look at this place. It's beautiful. Look at this house. It's beautiful. Uh, look at this one. Oh, very nice. Look at all these, um, oh, some really nice houses here and some beautiful, beautiful views. Uh, definitely, uh, this would be a cool place to live. Now, the real question is, where do I think this is? Based on just looking at it, I would have to say Scotland? I think so. I think Scotland makes sense. I mean, there's a lack of trees, which, okay, some parts of Scotland, uh, we could find that. I mean, there's not no trees, but, uh, sort of a... There's not that many around. I mean, okay, there's quite a bit of trees. What am I saying? This island doesn't look like it has that many trees, but maybe it's just so far away the trees don't aren't very prominent. I don't know. Scotland seems like it makes sense. We could also be somewhere like uh, Norway. Uh, we could... No, nah, we're not in Iceland. I think Scotland makes the most sense. The, the buildings look like Scotland feels right. We could be a lower, like, a closer to, uh, like, in Wales maybe as well. This could be in Wales. Wales or Scotland? Actually, I think I'm going to go with Wales on this one, to be honest. Change my mind. Um, let's say we're, we're over here in, uh, this looks like it, you know, it would be, it's such a beautiful place. It's got to be maybe protected or something because it's so nice. It's got to be protected. Uh, you know, it's a national treasure or something. And this is green thing makes me feel like uh, that that's right. So let's go, let's guess that. Wales, the answer? Scotland. Damn it. Oh, why do I second guess myself? I always do. All right. We were in the Isle of Arran. Oh, that's very, very cool. In a place called, um, place called Margnaglish. Wow. Okay. That was, uh, that's quite the mouthful there. But, uh, wow. Very, very cool. What a nice place there. Scotland. That is fantastic. Hopefully some of you guys, uh, got that correct. All right, here we are in today's daily challenge, and it is a very beautiful location today as well. I mean, it's not actually super, super beautiful, but uh, it looks like it would be uh, a pretty nice place to live. I mean, we've got uh, a lot of these uh, very nice, uh, you know, pretty sizable homes that we've got over here on uh, this nice big uh, lake or a pond, or it's probably man-made uh, this uh, if I had to, uh, if I had to guess based on uh, sort of the raised shore and all that kind of stuff, you get a nice little bike path that goes around it. I mean, there might be a little bit of trash laying here, which uh, sucks a lot, but you got a nice bike path, and you know, look at the mountains in the distance. It, uh, it's, it, it has a nice, it has a nice view to it. But really, um, it begs the question: Where in the world uh, could this location be? And if you have um, any guesses, put your guesses down in the comment section uh, below. And in tomorrow's video, much like in uh, the uh, much like in the section you saw before, I'm gonna make a guess as to where I think it is. Uh, but other than the guess as well, uh, I will announce in the comment section of tomorrow's video uh, which one of you guys guesses closest. So if you're interested in being the day's top geo guesser, you've got an idea, a hunch, or uh, any way of uh, figuring out where in the world this could be, then uh, you know, make sure you tell me, where in the world do you think we are right now? Well, okie dokie, welcome back and into the main section of today's video. And today, it is a viewer challenge, one brought to us by none other than Mr. Good. Thank you so much, so much, Mr. Good. Uh, very excited to be doing this challenge. Mr. Good, you've been on uh, quite the hot streak in the last, uh, last like, few weeks, I think, uh, making guesses into the, uh, daily challenge, and, uh, you've, uh, you've, you've done, uh, you've done really good, I mean, you haven't won them all, but, uh, you've done really good for sure, so thank you so much, uh, for that, and as well as for this challenge. Now, if you're interested in creating your own custom challenge, it'll look down in the description below, you'll find two links. The first link is a link to this challenge itself, so you can play along with me or challenge your friend, and the second link is a 
that link to a website called Geosetter, G-E-O-S-E-T-T-R dot com. You can create your own custom links, uh, see the challenges. So five locations throughout the world, wherever you want to place me, and then you can send me those giant links. They look much like the one you see above. Send that to me using the YouTube inbox system. And uh, if you uh, if you do that, and if you want to add like a theme or anything like that, that's really cool. But uh, you don't need to. This one in particular doesn't have a theme. And uh, then I'll play it. Super excited to do those. So thank you so much, Mr. Good, for this one. So boom, let's get right to it. Challenge accepted. Okay, awesome. So where in the world are we? We're in somewhere interesting uh, that I'm not quite certain where it is. It's Europe E. But I'm not quite sure. It could be. It could be Italy. It could be uh, pizzeria. Mm, I don't know. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. There's pizzerias everywhere in the world. Um, but where specifically? I think Italy's probably not a a, a bad Ital mark. Okay, did it. Minuti. Okay, I should. I I knew. I know that one. I knew that one. That that was Italy. So that's good. All right. Where in Italy are we going to be now? There's. Villa Nuova is probably the name of a place, but I don't actually know that, and I don't actually know what any of that says. Okay, there are mountains, and they're kind of snowy, so I'm going to guess we're at least a little bit up, but uh, not really sure about that. Where where are we going to be? Is there anything that says something over here? No, it's like a laundromat. Oh, wow, beautiful snowy mountains. Okay, okay. So I'm going to guess we're relatively high uh, in northern Italy then. Something like a, uh, maybe a Turin, maybe up here in, in this area, like a Trento or something like that. Uh, those are those are perhaps, I'm going to guess closer to Trento, in fact, uh, just because of the idea that uh, we could be closer to Austria. So that's, I think, I think we're going to go closer to Austria than closer to uh, France and Switzerland on this one. Not really sure why, but in fact, we're closer to Switzerland, I think, than Austria. Maybe. It's hard to, get, hard to tell from here, but uh, very good. Is there any, like, signs that, as we go down the road here that are going to tell us... Okay, what does this say? It says we're in uh, Tuscolano. Tuscolano. Is that a place that we can see? Um, and I'm not going to go looking for too long. I'm actually just going to just fly over the area, and if I don't see it, then I, I don't see it, and that's just too bad. Nope, okay, the answer is I, I don't see it, so uh, not much I can do there. So we're in Tuscalano, or maybe we're, we're leaving Tuscalano. Yeah, that, that sign means we're leaving Tuscalano, I think that's what that means. Not 100% certain. No, we're on the side of a lake, okay. So I'm going to go with this lake over here then, and um, which, where, where am I going to say? I'm going to say we are in, uh, sure, we're going to say we're right over here in Malsane. Okay, that sounds that sounds good to me. Big lake, we could of course be up here. Is there anywhere on this lake that's called Tuscalano? Not that I can see. All right, I'm not going to guess more than that. Let's go say this is the lake we're on. Boom, make the guess. Uh-oh. Hmm. Oh no. Oh, I did click return to start location. Make the guess. Oh, my bad. Oh, we were. Fuck, I could have just zoomed in one more and I would have seen it. Or did I? Oh my god, did I really miss it? Oh, well, whatever. I mean, we got so we got a lot of points, but I can't believe... Can't, did I zoom? I zoomed into this lake and missed it, didn't I? Oh, boy. Alright, well, whatever. 19 kilometers away. As far as things go, that's pretty good. <laughs> I just, I just feel sad that I missed it by so close. Oh, my God. Even even zoomed in to look. I'm so bad. You see, that's why I don't zoom in to look, because I'll never, I'll never see it, even if it's right in front of my face. Okay, England or France is where we are right now. So let's go looking, see if we can see any writing. It should be easy to figure out uh, relatively quickly which one of the two we're in. Uh, just by the look of it, I'm going to say we're in France, but I don't know. Oh, it says police. Uh, actually, that doesn't matter. <laughs> Police, it's, it's the same word. Uh, okay, what does this say? Oh, yeah, okay, good. We're in France. Uh, that's good. Um, all right, cool. France, and then there's some, there's some interesting words or names for things, though. That had a, uh, a very, at least, I felt like it was like a Germanic name. And look at this. No, oh, that just says, yeah, what is, what is this? Um, debate? Coaling, air conditioning, refrigeration, huh? But the license plates are yellow, so this. But I thought this would be France. But there's tickets there now. Hmm. Okay, something's afoot here. 
more investigation is needed. Is this really France or is this not France? I don't think it is. All directions, old castles, good. All right, so that seems like France to me. Uh, the yellow license plates make me feel like France is right. Uh, but then we've got, like, look at these names. Kottenbach. Um, uh, police Grand. Okay, there you go. Let's go towards the Police Grand. Okay, well, I'm guessing we're in France, but if we are in France, hold on. I think there was an actual uh, concrete evidence of France back here. Um, I'm guessing that's just, that's just, yeah, we're, we're in France. There's no way we're not. At least I, I'm fairly certain we are. But there's something about this place, and I don't know where these cities are. Uh, there's something about them that I, I don't really, I don't really know. So looking at that, looking at stuff, we has got to be able to figure out where exactly we are. And if I just have to guess, maybe we're in like, uh, maybe we're somewhere like, um, what are these places? Like, uh, I, I don't know what the name of these, of this place over here is. Can we be like inside in there for whatever reason? Um, I mean, we could be. Yeah, it's possible for sure. Uh, now we're on this. Now we're on this weird road. I don't want to be there. Let's return to start location. Um, okay, fine. Uh, let's not go that way then. Uh, let's go up here. Let's go up this way and see where we could uh, where we could go to. All right, let's go down. Can we go down there? Is that not a place we can go down? Oh, we're in Luxembourg. Ah, okay. There you go. It took us a while. We weren't in France. I Luxembourg has yellow license plates. That is a new new development here. Okay, so yeah, we actually were in Luxembourg. We actually have a flag, finally, we can actually see. Luxembourg. My god, I don't know why that uh, throws me off so much. Uh, Luxembourg, I'm still not used to that being a possibility here. Uh, but it, it indeed is. So, um, where should I guess? I'll guess, uh, I don't know. I don't even know, really. Um... Is there a name of a place? Um, no, not not that I can really necessarily see. So let's go Lawrence Weiler. Let's make the guess, and the answer was we were in Wilts. Okay, Wilts, 4537. Next location. Um, Znizki, 28%. Uh, Poland? Okay, uh, I don't I don't know. Yeah, it feels like feels like Poland is maybe right. Look at this flag, black and yellow. Don't know, I've never seen a flag like that before. Maybe this is a regional thing? Maybe it's not. Hmm, okay, like meat shop or something like that. Uh right over here. You can buy lots of uh lots of meat. What else what else can we see around here? Um Heuelutz, uh twenty eleven. Okay, so that's probably the name of the city. But first, I'm probably going to need to know the name of the country before uh, we, you know, we, we do, we, we look at more stuff. Now, we're in Europe, fairly certain. Where in Europe is still unclear. It's a very old-looking place. That's really cool. But uh, I'm not entirely certain where it is still. Hmm. No, this white van doesn't have, like, a website on the side of it. Is anywhere here a website? No, nowhere, nowhere seems to have a uh, Cosmetica, okay. feel like Poland's not bad, I don't know, something about this doesn't seem necessarily that Polish, but, I mean, I don't actually, I don't have any way of actually knowing that. I've never been to Poland, I haven't really seen that much. Bon Jovi, in concert, oh my god, look at that, Bon Jovi, in concert, in wherever this place is. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's zoom out and keep moving. See what else? What else do we got? Uh, what else do we got to go on over here? Uh, oh my God! Look at that! It's uh, it's after Earth. Wow. Uh, one thousand lat poseum. Is that is is that really the translation that it's called? A thousand years after Earth. I, I have no idea. A thousand years. Uh, I don't, that's very confusing. That's the name of that. Uh, credit bank KB. Let's just credit bank. Um, I, I feel like Poland's not necessarily a bad guess, but I, I have no idea. Um, okay. Uh, Brana Zoto. No museum. Can we get a flag, please? Can someone please, uh, you know, fly your national flags, please? Uh, you know, being patriotic is good. Oh, hold on. Is that, is that one? Is that a flag over there? Uh, there might have been a flag, but I don't know where it went. 
I thought there was a flag somewhere around here. I came here because I thought I saw one. All right, the, right what about this flag over here? Let's get closer to that thing. See what uh, see what that see what that says. Okay, so let's get closer to this flag down here and see what kind of flag are we flying on top of this building. The closer and closer to it I get to it, the more and more confused I am by the look of it. Um, dot, okay, I think that is dot PL, so I think we are in Poland. Uh, we're in a big city. That flag, it doesn't seem like the Polish flag to me, so I don't actually know. Okay, no, it's like the flag of, the, it's like a crest. Doesn't really help, but I think we saw a dot PL address, and I'm fairly certain we actually are in Poland. We're in Poland, this is the big city. Uh, I'm not gonna guess, it's not like, um, it could be like, uh, Poznan. I don't think it's War, I don't think it's not Warsaw. Could be like uh, War Claw, Krakow. Could be Krakow. Should I guess it's Krakow? I'm gonna guess it's Krakow. Uh, let's make the guess, and the answer was Gdansk. Oh my God, Gdansk doesn't look very much like Gdynia. Gdynia looks like a very nice holiday resort. Gdansk looks not quite the same. 2447. Darn, too bad I guessed uh, Krakow. Um, 2447. We are in America. Very nice. Uh, a Vera Living Well Center. All right, we're in America. We're in America. No idea yet. Uh, Metabank. Oh my God. Okay. Well, that's cool. Uh, what have we got? What, what are we selling over here? I'm, I'm like the look of this restaurant right here. Oh, tires. That's boring. Uh, BP. U.S. Bank. What else do we got here? Lampshades. Oh, well, that seems like a strange store. Just lampshades, eh? What state is this gonna be in? Um, I don't remember. The thing about it is I probably could remember. Maybe, maybe, uh, Minnesota. Okay, good. Minnesota. That sounds good to me. Uh, now where in Minnesota are we? And uh, if we are in Minnesota, uh, we could be right over here in Fargo again. Which, believe me, I'm just gonna place the guest down. Because I think we're probably gonna be in Fargo, Minnesota at this point. Uh, just because... You know, it always happens. So that's that's what my guess is going to be. Everyone always places us in Fargo. We're going to be in Fargo, Minnesota this time. I'm going to get it right, and then maybe they'll break the curse. Um, uh, because Fargo, you see right there, is in North Dakota, Minnesota. is the same kind of place. So, uh, well, it's not the same kind of place. It's, it's uh, the city is split. Oh, it, actually, it's, well, I mean, it doesn't really matter. So, yeah, that's where I'm going to guess that we are. We got a, uh, we got like a high school or elementary school or some other kind of a building. Uh, maybe not just a church. This is a church, really? Shaped like this? Okay, interesting. All right, well, there you go. It's a church shaped like that. That's interesting. Uh, we got some, uh, some other buildings that we can go down to. This looks like a very nice place that we've got here. Um, what have we got? Augusta College, Sanford. Mm, we could, uh, is there a Sanford in Minnesota? Uh, not that I can see. Duluth, St. Cloud. I'm not gonna go looking for it too much. All right. I'm gonna guess this is Fargo, just because. Because what 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 can we do? We've always we all we always go to Fargo, so it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen one time or the other. And now we get to some houses and some carpet and painting. Twenty four hours. And we get to a school. C A. Uh, Bowden Field. This looks relatively familiar, but again, this looks like it could be uh, many places in the world. It just looks like maybe I've seen this before. Rustic Razor Barbers. I don't think I've seen this. Um. Kids and Caboodle. Oh, boy. Look at that. All right. Well, I don't think I want to go down too much. So do I have my guess down in Fargo? Boom. The answer was, well, we were in South Dakota, Sioux Falls. So there you go. Wow. Minnesota Avenue. Ah, there it is. Right in the middle of Sioux Falls. Wrong state. Uh, well, you know, wrong state. I said it was Minnesota. It was actually South Dakota. Didn't say it was North Dakota. 2556. And finally, we are in... Uh, not in North America, interestingly enough. License plates are different. They're, they're not, well, I mean, you can say they're wrong. They're not wrong. They're just different. People can park both sides of the road facing the same direction. South Africa? Is that where we are? It's hard to tell right off the bat, but I'm thinking South Africa, maybe. Um, man. Oh, no. Pe Peligro. Okay. Like, are we in, like, uh, Brazil? All right, Peligro, uh, all right, is this, um, is this, uh, like a, uh, this, uh, yeah, I have no idea, I'm just, I'm just stumbling on my words now, because I'm very confused. 
So this could be like a uh, this could be like a Brazil or it could be a Spanish speaking country. I don't think it's it's not Spain. We're not in Europe. I think we're in South America. The mountains, you know, Brazil Brazil could be right, but again, it, it could be could be completely wrong. We got a wall over here. I'd kind of like to get over it, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. This could be in Chile or something like that as well. Um, let's go. Let's go down this way again. I got to see a little bit more language. It takes me a long, long time to figure out the difference between. Um, okay, so we're driving on the right, which is good. Um, okay, well, we've got that Nuevos Proyectos. Okay, that feels like uh, feels like Spanish. Uh, at least I know that's CL, Chile. Okay, good. So that was already in our mind. So Chile is good. Uh, we've got to be on the outskirts of Santiago, maybe. I'm not really sure, actually. Uh, let's let's go down this beautiful road. I mean, my God, it's big, big roads. Uh, not too much traffic. Uh, you know, looks nice. Looks like looks like a nice place to to be, honestly. Here, um, very very cool. There's a big protected area over here. Can't climb over this fence. Maybe it's an uh, reserved for for nature or something, or who knows how it goes on down there. All right, let's keep moving and uh, see if we can spot anything. Uh, unless I see a sign that says the name of a city, I'm just gonna place my guess down in uh, just uh, just north of like Santiago, some like uh, right over here, um, like on on the on the outskirt and like uh, right around here or something like that. That's probably a good guess. Yeah, and uh, let's go check this out. I mean, we're taking a big road. Probably takes a long time to get to a downtown. Oh my god, I'm oh, kind of lost in someone's driveway. It looks like the Google car did as well. Um, okay, yeah, they did get lost in someone's driveway. That's a bit bizarre. Why Why did it turn down here? Did their GPS tell them to turn down on this person's driveway? Seems a bit bizarre. Uh, what have we got over here? Uh, I can't really tell. All right, you know what? I'm thinking I'm going to make the guess right now. I'm going to make the guess, and the answer was yes, we were on the outskirts of Santiago. We were actually in this little community over here in... Uh, uh, Estadio San Carlos de Apoquindo. Very nice. Look at that. That's where we were right there. So there's a university around here. Very, very, very cool. 5390. You know what? Overall, that was actually a really good challenge, I think. So let's uh, see the final score. 2059. It's not bad. I mean, never got any super exact. I got one pretty close right off the bat here uh, in Italy. Then again, pretty close in Luxembourg, just north of Luxembourg City. Then in Poland, it was uh, Gdansk, not Krakow. Then we were in, uh, well, we weren't in Minnesota. We were in South Dakota, Sioux Falls. And then finally, we were in Santiago, Chile. Very, very cool. 20 uh, oh, 59. Thank you so much, Mr. Good, for this challenge. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh yeah. Have a good one.